Hi, 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 it's Jules again, and welcome to part five of How to Needle Felt a Golden Retriever. So this channel is just a place for me to share my needle felting experiences. I've been needle felting since August of 2020, so not very long, and I wanted to make a place where I could practice all the dogs that I've been commissioned to make and share my journey along the way with you too. So if you have comments or feedback or you know a way that is better, please let me know. I'm very open and I want to do better. So today we're gonna give our golden retriever a face and paws and a tail. I've added the sheet to my wool um, pad here because I feel like it really helps the wool not to stick and especially when I'm doing the ears it's easy to pull them up so I'll show you that later so thanks for joining me. I'm taking some long merino wool and making tiny little strands like this and then I'm going to wrap her legs with it. At the end where the paw is, I like to wrap bigger, like go over the paw a bunch, because later I'm gonna make that into her paw. So I kind of felt it forward like this. See how I'm making that little part right there? I want a longer piece so I don't have to stop in the middle. So I'm going to take a much longer piece this time and stretch it out a little bit.
So these are some foam pads that I've gotten from other kits I bought. And I like sticking them between the legs to help me felt the paws. And that way I'm not bending the leg too much while I do it. I'm gonna use this white batting from Big Fiber Arts to use as the white on her face. Going back now to the batting for this brown on her nose here. I'm gonna use some of this gray batting for the muzzle here, how dark her muzzle is. Okay, for ears, I think I'm gonna use all of the bits of fluff that we cut off of her fur. So for ears, we wanna get two of the same amounts of fur. So they're a little bit thick, but I kind of think I'm gonna leave them and see what they look like. Might wanna add some fluff. So they sit really low on her head. See how big the head is? We wanna put them real low like that. And I always look in relation, like there's the eyes and there's her ears are just above. These might be a little bit long. So we're gonna tack them on, and we're gonna use this extra fluff here on the top to just tack them in and be part of her, the fur on top of her head. I'm adding the tiniest little bit of brown batting inside of the eye, just to give it like a tiny bit of depth. the ears are way too long so I'm gonna pin them in the back like this and make them a little bit shorter.
Okay, I feel like the legs just don't look right. And like these are just too tiny. So maybe we need to go with the lighter fur and build them up a little bit. the only side picture that I have, but see how her mouth goes up a little bit there and it doesn't here, so I wanna make her mouth a little less round. This will help anchor his face pointed up to the side like that, which I think is really cute. I always like when they're looking up or looking over. And because there's a wire in her, it's not too hard to move her. I think she's pretty cute. All right, I think she's done. I think she turned out so super cute. And I also think maybe a better title for this series would be how Jules muddled her way through making a golden retriever because I feel like I made so many mistakes. You know, this is a learning process for me and then you can learn from my mistakes and don't do the same thing. So I am, um, but I really do like how she turned out. And the only thing left to do now is to make her a tiny little collar but that will have to be another video for another day. So what do you think, Lacey?